Hello and welcome to Quilt Addicts Anonymous. I'm Stephanie Sebbing. Today we are bringing you a bunch of new goodies and we've got a lot and they're super cute. We have two new beginner kits. We have two cat collections, which I know you guys always love. Plus we have a really great new selections from Art Gallery Fabrics, which are great for little ones, but they don't look like super juvenile. So they're definitely ones that could work for someone who's young at heart or for a baby and then continue to use them through their toddler years as well because it doesn't look like baby baby because we don't want to spend all that time and effort on a quilt for them to not be able to use it safely for the first six months to a year and then to have outgrown it by the time it's time for them to snuggle up with that quilt. So we're going to take a peek at all of those today. All right so first up we've got two new beginner kits. This one the background is the fun one so let me move these out of the way. We have not a meows from Dear Stella. This is a really small collection that they put out. It's so cute because it's all these cats and they're super grumpy to have uh, be dressed up for Christmas. So if you've ever had a cat, I'm sure you can relate. We've got a little kitty in a Santa hat and some reindeers and this looks like a poinsettia leaf. And oh my gosh, this is like a, a hat like the Christmas hats tree hat and he just looks so unamused and then we'll open it up a little more we have some presents we've got a wreath so we're going to use this as the background because the coordinates it's a really small line they basically came out with this and then this fun little plaid as a coordinate which is super cute um, but what we did was we grabbed a few of their basics a basic if you've never heard of it is essentially like a supporting player to help make all of this work so you can see that we have some black we have green obviously we've got some gold and we have some red so we can put all these together use this as a background and have the cats just be all over this quilt and have a lot of fun with it so it's our beginner series if you guys have never heard of it you should check it out there's a free pattern to go with it it is called the split nine patch and so if you download that then we will send you 12 video lessons for free that take you through the entire process from start to finish of making your first quilt and it's really a lot of fun it's over five hours of content that's all completely free and the pattern is free so you can really get a lot of tips and tricks and even if you've been quilting for a long time there's things that you might learn about how to make sure that your pieces are always the right size when you're cutting and pressing and three different ways to sew a quarter and seam if that's something you struggle with all the way through quilting and on your home sewing machine and I use my little one so that way you guys can see that this can be done on a little machine and we just take you through all the steps. So this is a really fun one to do. It's fast and easy. And especially if you start now, you totally can have this done for this holiday season. So that can be fun. And just so you know, this is how they come in a pack. We fold them up all nicely for you. And they look super cute when they come. It'll look like this. And then we'll have the cats on the other side. And I've got the second one already bagged up. So this one is a line from Art Gallery. And you can see it's all bagged up. It's nice and neat. And so it's not going to get rained on or anything if it, your mailman leaves it outside in the rain. Um, and then we print out an image of what it's going to look like. Um, because once these sell out, they kind of go off of our website. But that way you can see and you can know what this, what your version is supposed to look like. Um, and then it just looks super pretty on there because it's got all your fabric. It tells you what it is so you know what pattern it belongs with and all that good stuff. So let's take a closer look at this fabric. This also just arrived. It's called Luna and Laurel from Art Gallery Fabrics. It's really pretty. All right, so here is the one of the main pretty fabrics. It's just this little night flower. It's it is opening up in the night sky, and I've, I've always kind of wanted to play in a moon garden, but I haven't gotten that far. But it's super cute. And then we have this little shimmery night sky, and we have. Well, it looks like the sunrise after the moon. And then I love these teals. Like, if you couldn't tell by our logo colors, teal is my thing. And I'm matching this fabric here today. And this is probably a fabric that most people wouldn't choose uh, because it's orange and all this is like, you know, the pretty teals and darks. But it really coordinates very well with this uh, flower. So if we use it in the center of our quilt, like we've done here, it really makes it pop and ties everything together really well. And then we've got our nice background. It's not white, white. Um, it's a nice tan taupey color and it's got uh, some design on there. So it one, if you get it dirty, it's not going to 
show as much but also it gets away from that white white background and then you are concerned that you know it just adds a little bit more visual interest and then if you've got kids or pets you don't have to worry about it getting messy so much all right well i'm going to put this back together this is the split nine patch that we have for our beginner series from luna and laurel with art gallery fabrics and speaking of art gallery fabrics we have their new fusion collection little forester you can see it behind me so their fusion collection is where they take all of their designers and they recolor some of their best designs to all coordinate together so you get a little taste of all the art gallery fabrics designers because they're all fantastic but we don't have have unlimited budget so we can't order every single collection that they come out with as, as personal sewers. This gives you a little bit of all of them and they all coordinate together beautifully. This is the one that to me looks like it works really well for juvenile and it could go baby all the way up to like grade school and I think they would still love it. Um, and of course anybody who's young at heart as well would also love this. So let's take a peek at some of the fabrics. All right so this one is really cute. We've got some deer and their little fawns and they're keeping a look out and the trees they're like they're almost similar to the the sweater color that I have but we also have some great blue uh, teal going on there and some pink and so it really just works really well together then we have another very dark one that makes use of this very geometric design I really like this one in particular it's gonna be a nice supporting player to some of those that have more uh, focal point designs going on in them so this one was designed by more Maureen Cracknell, I really love her. I, I really enjoy her designs and I have in my stash, like I don't keep too much of the stuff that comes into the, the shop other than what we make for samples. Um, but I do have some of hers that are just like waiting for me to do something with because they're so pretty. Um, but these are just cute little squirrels running around hiding their nuts and storing them away for winter and, it, and the colors work beautifully with everything else. This is a really fun wood grain by Bonnie Christine. This one would also work as a nice neutral supporting print if you have uh, some other coordinates that you want to make pop and this goes with it. This one is also by Bot and Christine. It's just a bunch of tree roots but you can see all the tree rings and it makes a really fun design. This one was designed by the AGF studio which basically means it's an in-house design. It doesn't have a designer name attached to it but this one to me is the one that makes it where it could be juvenile. So if you didn't want it to be juvenile just like the fabrics this was one you would just leave out and maybe make a kid's mask or something with it. But it has really cute and animal heads. We have raccoons, looks like a badger, hedgehog, a fox, otter. They're just really cute and really fun. And it just, I think it's just adorable. And it does a really good job of pulling in the different uh, colors that we see in the other ones, especially that little orange fox. All right, so this one is by Alexander Bordalo. It is just a really pretty striped design. It's got that nice, rich, uh, rusty orange with just a little like dotted stripe going through it. So this is another one that's gonna really be a supporting player and be one of those really important prints to help bring out those oranges in the little bits that are in the other parts of the collection. This one also is really cute. We're still playing on that little forest animal theme and we have different little paw prints and the paw prints kind of look a little bit like hearts. So it's really cute, it's adorable. And we're in that creamy slash rust. So again, this one could work well small, but it also will good to sort of play big as well if you want to have big swaths of footprints. We've got another one by Maureen Cracknell. There are just a lot of bees and they're spaced out really well. So if you wanted to fussy cut these, like if you were into English paper, for piecing this would be a really fun one to cut out a bunch of bee hexes with um, or whatever it is that you're making but also you could fussy cut it for quilts or you could just cut it and let the bees land wherever they want to in your quilt block all right so if you follow me for any length of time you know that I love owls if I see an owl fabric and it's modern I'm probably gonna buy it um, this is ones by Jessica Swift we actually have had uh, this design before in a different colorway and I made a mask out of it got so many compliments on it. It was so cool. So this one is definitely just colored a little bit different. Uh, instead of having the pinks, which is the original, uh, 
in this one. This one is definitely working with the little forester color way where we have our tans and our oranges and then some very beautiful blues. And it just, the coloring on this is just fantastic and I really love it. This might be one that I might have to, to I might have to keep some of this for myself because this one, this one's good. So that's that. So that's Little Forester. It's a fusion collection. It's a bunch of art gallery fabrics designers all coming together with their best designs to make a collaborative collection where everything is colored to match. And like I said, this one I think would look great for kids, but if you didn't want it to be kids, you could just leave out those little forest creature heads. And I think it would work great for an adult and you could just save that for something else. We've got fat quarter bundles. We've got yardage, as you can see behind me. Um, I think this one might go fast because it's just adorable. And it's hard to find like kids prints that aren't just like over the top teeny tiny baby like you're gonna grow out of this so fast and I spent so much time making it and I want you to have it and you'd be able to use it for a long time so that's kind of what I look for when I'm looking for a kids line it's something that can grow with them and I think this is definitely it so little forcer our gallery fabrics go grab those goodies. We've got another new collection from Art Gallery Fabrics. This is called Velvet by Amy Cinebaldi. Um, we can't always bring everything in on the bolt. And so when that's the case, we always get pre-cuts when I love a collection. Um, so we're gonna take a peek at this one and you guys can get it either in fat quarter bundle or in the 10 inch charm pack where you can have lots of fun and get lots of goodies in and make some fun patterns with that. This one is really just very feminine. It's very pretty. And this one almost looks like watercolor, but I love the color palette for this one. It's very soft and flirty, perfect for spring and summer. And, but we do have some bolder ones in there too to help sort of bring that out. Cause here you can see that this green helps make this uh, green that's a little bit less intense here pop. Got a good teal, gotta have a good teal. And then we get to a little bit more intense colorway here. A little softer again. And then this is fun. I really like it when they have that little mustardy print. It's not one that you'll always go for, but it's important to help make things like this pop and the little yellow flowers in there. And it really is very, very pretty. So again, that's Velvet by Amy Cinebaldi for Art Gallery Fabrics. We have the fat quarter bundles and the 10 inch layer cakes. Last but certainly not least, we have the second cat collection that I promised you. I feel like whenever we get cats and they're modern, they go super fast. So if you are a cat lady and you love your little kitties and you love this collection, I would not wait on that or and I would not wait on the Christmas cats either uh, because I don't think either of those are going to hang around very long. This one we only have on uh, Fat Quarters. Uh, it is Whistler Studios for Wyndham Fabrics and it's called Mod Cats. So the cats are getting into all kinds of trouble. They're playing with some yarn balls. Then we got some little kitty heads in a couple of different colorways here. Kitties are rolling around and playing in a couple different colorways. Then this is just a really good neutral. I mean, you wouldn't have to use these ones with it, although they do coordinate perfectly. So it would be a nice little supporting player there. This one just has words on it. It says kitty and purr and play, and there's some paw prints. We have that in a couple colorways as well. So this one's kind of fun because it really is not a lot of color packed into this. It almost could be a red and white quilt. It's got a few other things in there. There's like some corally pink and some blue and some, some golden yellow orange in there. But it really reads very, you know, graphically because of the limited use of color. But it's got all your favorite kitty things in there. We've got them chasing balls of yarn. We have them purring. We have them playing. So I think this is going to be a fun one. This is a great one if you've got a cat lover in your life and you want to make them a quilt for Christmas. This is a good collection to go for with that. I almost forgot about one of our new goodies and it's a good one. So we just got Quilts for Baby and Beyond by Jaybird Quilts. If you're a fan of Jaybird, uh, what she's done is she had a baby like almost three years ago now and then she 
she just had another and she kind of chronicled her baby's journey and of course made him a lot of quilts because that's what you do when you have a baby and you're a quilter you make lots of quilts so she's done lots of quilts that are full of things of rainbows and then also some really graphic ones because babies see contrast before they see color so there's lots of really great options in here we're not going to show you the whole thing because we want you to get the book um, but here are some of the examples of what she's done um, she used her alphabet uh, book to create uh, little numbers so that way she could photograph her her baby on the quilt and show him growing I did that with my first baby and then with my second baby I intended to do it but second baby plus pandemic plus trying to run a business and teach your child at home your older child and it just didn't happen so that's too bad I won't have that for her but it is so it's fun to do if if you have that coming but here is kind of a preview of some of them um, what we did here is we recommend that you use our violet craft um, we just got a bunch of basics in for her they're really really pretty um, and you can definitely go with that you can get some fat quarters and just go to town um, she does have special rulers that she uses for it um, so you'll need to grab those we don't carry them anymore because they are difficult to ship but there are lots of places you can get that to go with that uh, but we've got lots of really cute fun options and we won't spend too much time on this but we will show you the photography because it's so cute it's her little baby as he grew up as she worked on the book so definitely check that out have some fun with it if you've got some babies coming somebody in your family was bored during the pandemic and ended up creating a little one you know what this is a good thing to make for them. All right, well, thank you so much for following along with our video today and for watching it to the end. Make sure you go check out all these goodies on our website, shop.quiltaddictsanonymous.com. Um, we have all of this in fat quarter bundles. We have yardage and um, fat quarter bundles for the little forester we have yardage and kits for our new beginner kit options so there's lots of goodies that you can get your hands on today and then of course we have the other pre-cuts as well the velvet by art gallery fabric so lots of fun things to get yourself excited even if you're starting to plan to get out a little bit for summer you know now you got your vaccine you feel like you can go for it um, that's great but we typically don't keep fabric around for very long it usually goes pretty quickly so if this is something you feel like you need in your life even if you've got some plans to go somewhere you got to buy it when you see it because it might be gone when you come back so make sure you check all that out and we'll have some tutorials coming for you next so make sure you're liked and subscribed both here on the channel and on our website to our email list because then you'll be the first to know when we get new goodies in and if YouTube doesn't show you the video we'll make sure to get it to your inbox Plus, you get a 10% discount on your first purchase. So, you know, you want to save some money on some of these goodies? That's the only way to do it because usually they're gone before we can put it on sale. All right. Thanks so much for following along. And until next time, happy quilting. All right. Well, thank you so much for following along with... Uh,